present you with this ego of the feather. It's one of the greatest honors a Mi'kmaq person can give to another person. And uh, we'd like to we'll let you know that the Mi'kmaq nation appreciates the help you have given us. And we hope that the Creator will keep you strong. The road on the eagle feather starts off to be narrow. And when you're young, like you, it's easy to stay on the feather. But as you get older, you may stray off and your friends will help you bring you back on. But as you get more wisdom, the feather gets narrow. And you have more responsibility to stay on the feather yourself. Okay. <coughs> person can give another person. And like I said, that the, we asked the Creator to uh, help you keep an open mind and help you uh, with your vision to see all things that uh, will help uh, all the poor people. We ask them to uh, let you hear everything that is said and not just what you want to hear. And we ask you to speak with wisdom. And we ask you to always speak from the heart because the greatest uh, distance as human beings is from our heart to our mind. Thank you very much, John Joe. Leo, we also grant you this evil feather for the work that you're doing with, with all poor people and uh, respecting their dignity. And we also appreciate the work you do with us. Thank you. <coughs> Walter always comes out here and helps me, so Walter, I want to grant you his eagle feather. Walter has uh, been doing really good for a number of years now. He's uh, quit all the uh, substance abuse and stuff. He used to uh, break his relationship with the Creator. And Robert is another one of my helpers with the, uh, with the yeast. All our new beginnings. <coughs> oh, Creator, we greet you and we thank you for the direction of the East, the place of the rising sun. We ask you to uh, help us with our new beginnings in this place of birth and rebirth. And we also ask you to help all the youth of our nation. And we thank you, Creator, for today, for the beginning of today, sitting here with uh, my friends. As I pass the eagle feather, we speak to you, and then we pass it on. And you can start, when you say, you can say, Jaguwe Nisko, which means come here, Creator. And when you're done speaking, you say, Staho, well, all in Nisko. Taho. Thank you for you know, uh, let me be a part part of this uh, maybe ceremonial event uh, that was uh, given by a person here, uh, John Gibson. And I thank you for him for offering me to be part of it and sharing in in this new this uh, event and uh, be more partake in each and every time and. And I thank you for everyone offering me to the home. Jibouille. Great creator, sustainably in their environment. And then the settlers, European settlers came, and, and you can see what we've done to it. Uh, we just take, uh, we give nothing back, and now we're paying. Uh, I think we have a lot to learn from the Mi'kmaq culture. They have a lot to give to us, and uh, we, we need that. We need that now more than ever. And, uh, thank you.
that I have just moved to PEI and had the honor of meeting the Mi'kmaq people, especially John Joe here. It's a great honor. And uh, I'm just very grateful. I'm very grateful and thank you. Tahoe. 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 Creator, I want to uh, give thanks for having the opportunity to be here this evening to uh, share with you uh, what I think really is an accomplishment of John Joe, Captain John Joe, done so much for uh, Mi'kmaq people in the Atlantic region. Certainly, I think, has been the conscience for many, many people in this province, and um, I just hope he continues to do his uh, good work, and I'm very pleased to, to be here and uh, to be his friend. It's a tremendous honor to receive an eagle feather from John Joe from the Mi'kmaq people. And I often have the privilege of seeing the eagle in the tree. And uh, I always want to touch the eagle because um, as John Joe and others have taught us, the eagle is the uh, animal, the bird that is closest to God. So when I see the eagle or when I see the sunrise in the east or even look at the not us and um, I pray and yearn as he does for the sustainability of our land, our forests, our water, that all of us would learn to live in a sustainable way and enjoy all the beautiful gifts of God's nature. And I think of when it comes to somebody being honored, there's no greater fighter for his people, no person I know who has greater pride in his roots and his origins. And nobody I know who is more talented at sharing the spirituality and the spiritual wisdom of his people than John John. The Holy Ghost come to home. Oh. <coughs> Over each spirit, we uh, thank you and greet you in the south. And we thank you for the uh, warm summer winds and the uh, the, uh, the warm love that comes from uh, the hearts of my friends. With all these. Taho. Taho. Thank you, Lord, in this great spirit to have the same son of his wife and uh, the family. They're all, uh, you know, he always uh, had their uh, door open for me. They were always there for me. And uh, every time I seek help, uh, they're just there to help me out. And uh, I, uh, you know, every time I came out here and we put on a sweat and stuff, and, uh, and it helped me out. All the bad feelings away from me when I was down in the dumps, I guess, and brought me back to uh, my life and, and uh, looked at things in a positive way. And, uh, and uh, going out to us here, it, uh, it uh, helped me in that purpose. And I thank him for that. I, uh, I band eagle I climb trees and I get to see the young birds in the nests and the children out. It, they belong to me, if you know what I mean. They, they weren't mine. They weren't mine to take or, you know, or to give. But, uh, so uh, I must confess I've been after John Joe for a long time to give me an eagle feather <laughs> so I could actually feel like I can, I can uh, have one because uh, I don't
things that uh, that John Joe just uh, when I think of the South, I, I want to tell them a joke. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a dirty joke. <laughs> um, not dirty, but and, uh, and humor, and, and uh, envision, too. Uh, humorously, almost like uh, what I used to always love to think of as the fool on the hill, and he had a every time. Uh, I, I talk to him on the telephone even. When I think of him, he, uh, and I honor the South, and I honor 